Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to trade in FIFA 14. And I'm sure this will help you guys a lot because I am a trading noob myself. And I watched a lot of videos which are out there on YouTube and tried to come up with some systems how to trade on my own. So, this time I started off with Bernard. I had like 8,000 or 10,000 coins and I looked for the lowest priced Bernard and uh, I did make a bid on every single Bernard on the market which was uh, lower than 5,200 coins and his lowest buy now on the market was as you can see right here 5,300 which would be bought right away from someone and uh, 5,500 is the normal lowest buy now and I'm sure about that because I remember it properly so I got myself these Bernards I got two already I got uh, over bet by someone else but uh, fuck about those Bernards I got myself two Bernards and here I'm transfer listing them to make 300 coins profit on each of them or at least 200 coins so um, Yeah, this was the first Trading method I did I did trade a lot with Bernard I should have kept them because this week he's probably going to be in team of the week and his price has been rising a lot so if I would have bought 10 Bernards for 5200 two days ago I could sell every one of them for 6,500, 6,700 right now. So uh, keep an eye out on the performances of the players. If they are play playing really well and you are watching the game right now, if uh, let's say Bernard scores three goals, go ahead and buy him on Ultimate Team right now. And here's another method I did. I was looking for right mids, silver right mids from Brazil and there is only three players on the market which are uh, which you can buy under 2800 coins. So I decided to go ahead and look for these players because a lot of people are going to put them on the market for much lower prices than they go for. Right here I found myself one for 1100 coins. Normally his lowest price is 1,500 coins, so I decided to buy him right away and put him on the market for 1,400 or 1,500 coins. This way we will make a profit of 400 or 500 coins, uh, no sorry, of 300 or 400 coins. And I was doing that over and over again, checking for the right mids. Uh, and as well, I was looking for English strikers. Uh, it was quite tough. <coughs> Sorry, it was quite tough to find the right ones because uh, everyone on the market is looking for cheap uh, English strikers to sell them right away because you can sell them within a minute. They go like nothing else, but it, that also means that you will have struggles finding cheap. English players you will have to go on the transfer market onto the 59th minute and check over and over again if someone is um, Listing those players on the market for a much cheaper price than they would go for this This trading method is much much harder to do than what I did before this one right here I'm going to list these players. I got myself an Angelo for 450 coins I am going to uh, list him for about, I don't know, his lowest price on this one was like 1,200 or something in that order. I'm not really sure about that, but 1,200 is the lowest price, I think. And uh, yeah, I decided to go ahead and put him up for about 1,200 coins. I bought him for 450, so I'm going to make a big profit on him. Also, we got ourselves the other right mid. Uh, he is worth about 850 coins to uh, 950. It really goes up and down every single time. I got him for 350 coins or 450 coins and I'm going to make a profit on him. And yeah, this way uh, you will always get like 300 and 400 coins and this will help you to get to a point where you can afford much, much higher rated players gold players um, for example 
where you can buy them for like 8,000 and sell them for 10,000 if someone is listing them in the wrong way. Here, I was looking for Gabriel. I bought him in the center forward position. His normal position is center attacking, center attacking midfielder. Holy shit. And um, someone used the position card on him, put him on the market for the same amount for the same price as a center attacking midfield player and as you guys know the position modifier does cost a lot so i went ahead and bought him for 1100 and i'm going to list the only gabriel on the market the center forward for 3000 coins someone is going to buy him because he's a four star skiller and he is much cheaper than other center forwards and right here this guy, I made a lot of profit on him. I got myself Vitor right here. I'm not going to make a lot of profit on him, but Vitor Jr. is normally also a center attacking midfielder. I got him for 4,600 and sold him for 5,600. But right here, you can see, I got myself Vitor Jr. for 1,000 coins and I'm going to make a 4.5k profit on him. Guys, you really have to be looking out for these players where a lot of people are using position modifiers on them and then they forget to sell them for a much higher price and yeah here you can see my transfer list i sold all those players uh, the prices have been going up and down a bit uh, this means not every player went for the same price you saw it earlier i had to lower the price sometimes or sometimes i could up the price bernard as you could see at the start went for 6700 i think uh, that was the day where he scored three goals and i tried to get some gold players into my trading i got modric for like 11k and sold him for 11.5 11.75 and here are all the bernards with which i started off trading and all those brazilian players at page four i still have like three or four players and if i sell all of them i will have around uh, 40k coins in this episode we got from around 20k coins up to 40k coins I hope these trading methods do really help you. Please, if you enjoyed this, if this was informative enough, please leave a like, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. The second episode is going to be out very soon. Take care. Peace.